do online yoga classes. It seems like this is the way that we are going to have to be doing exercises, yoga, anything for the next couple of weeks. I hope that you're all keeping safe and well and that you'll be able to join us. Uh, please look out on my Instagram or Facebook page for further updates on online classes. For now, I will be trying to video as many classes as I can. This is my third attempt at doing this one. Oh, pardon me, my third attempt at doing this one. Uh, having kids at home is quite challenging to say the very least, but anyway, we're going to start. Before I begin, please remember that this is your practice, your flow. Do what you can, do what your body allows, and listen to your body. Um, I might not cues variations or modifications all the time, so if you do know a modification or practice a modification of a pose that I'm doing, please feel free to do so. Um, it's also my first time videoing myself, so it's very new, very uncomfortable, so if I fidget a lot or look around a lot, please forgive me. As always in my classes, I forget left and right, I might forget to do a side, I might forget to do a pose, I might forget where we are. Have fun with it, laugh with it, uh, this is more for everybody to reconnect to themselves, reconnect to peace and clarity through the next 21 days that seems to throw the world into complete chaos. We are going to start seated, but please bear in mind that child's pose is available to you at any time during the class, so feel free to drop down into child's pose whenever you feel the need. As I said, start at sea, starting seated today, either comfortably cross-legged, just one leg in front of the other. You can take half lotus, full lotus, whatever is available to you. Sitting up nice and tall, bringing your hands, palms to rest face down, face down on your knees, or palms face up with a yoga mudra. Or you can simply place your right hand into your left palm in your lap. Your eyes you can gently bring to a close, taking a nice cleansing breath, so inhaling deeply through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. Oh, one more breath like that. Bringing your lips to seal and continuing to breathe in and out through your nose. Engaging that ujjayi breath, that slight constriction at the back of your throat. An audible breath as if you're fogging up the mirror but your lips are sealed. It's an audible breath which reminds us and brings our awareness to our breath, to our breathing, which is very important as we move through our flow. It is something we do every day without thinking. But sometimes when we exercise, we tend to tense up and forget that we're holding our breath or not to notice that we're holding our breath. So bearing in mind that breath is very important. If your neighbor is somebody, you, your partner, or your children are doing yoga with you and they can hear you breathing, that's awesome. Continuing here, just settling onto your mat, trying to ignore the surrounding sounds. Just bringing your awareness inwards. The last two or three breaths here, you can set an intention or a dedication for the practice. A word or a short phrase either to give you inspiration simply for gratitude or maybe an inspiration a dedication of an inspiration could be an inspiration a dedication or an intention for somebody else You can either flick your eyes open here or you can keep your eyes closed and on your next inhale reach your arms up above your head, palm facing to one another. Inhaling here deeply again and exhale taking right arm down to the mat, left arm reaching up and over your gaze underneath your left arm. Inhale back through centre, side bend the other way, left arm down, right arm over. Reaching up, coming back through centre, one more each side, side right, side and right, side bend to the right. Coming back up, side bend to the left. Reaching up to centre and releasing hands down to your lap. 
taking your left hand across around your head towards your right ear, drawing that right left ear down towards your left shoulder. At the same time, gently dropping the left nose, the right shoulder down, so you're getting a nice stretch along your neck. One more breath. Slowly release and swapping sides, taking that right hand over your head towards your left ear, gently pulling your right ear towards your right shoulder, and at the same time lowering that left shoulder away, stretching out your neck. gently drawing circles with your neck in one direction, dropping that right ear to your chin, chin towards chest, left ear to your shoulder, round back again through a roll. These can be side rolls if a full neck roll doesn't feel good to you. Just one more to the right. And that right ear comes to your right shoulder, pause, and then change direction, three rolls, taking left ear to shoulder, chin to chest, right ear to shoulder, and around. Last one in this direction. Left ear to left shoulder, pause. Coming back to neutral, flickering your eyes open if they were closed and making your way onto all fours. So coming onto you, you into your tabletop, wrists directly underneath shoulders, knees directly underneath hips. Your knees are about two fists or hips width distance apart. Your feet flat to the mat, disappearing behind you if you look between your feet. Inhaling, we're dropping our belly, lifting our gaze gently for pow. Exhale, round, tucking the tailbone and rolling all the way up, pushing the ground away. Inhale, drop our belly, lift our gaze. And exhale, round. Two more on your own breath, taking any additional movements that feel good to you. Maybe side to side, stretches, just feeling into the body, into the back, finding space. Last complete round wherever you are, making it your longest and deepest inhale and exhale. Coming back to a neutral spine. Keeping that right hand grounded, inhale, you're sweeping the left arm up, taking a twist. Exhale, you're going to thread it through without touching down, twisting, reaching that left arm through. Inhale, unwind, reach it up and twist without touching down. One more time, inhale, twist, and threading it through, this time coming down onto that left shoulder, left ear. Your right hand can extend long in front of you, your hips are squaring off on the mat. Or you can wrap that right arm around you for a bind. Bind, slowly release that right arm long and bring it back in front of your face, inhaling, unwind left arm from that shoulder, thread the needle and release. Swapping sides, left hand stays on the mat, right arm reaches up, inhale, exhale, we twist without thread, so setting it down. Inhale, unwind, twist, exhale, thread it through without touching down. Last time, inhale, twist. Reaching through, coming down onto that right shoulder, right arm, left hand, either staying in front of your face or extending long in front of you. Or you can take that bind, even if you didn't, on the other side. Unwinding or unwinding that left arm, taking it out long in front of you, bring it in front of your face, pushing up, inhale, unwind the right arm and release down to the mat. 
We're coming into downward facing dog, moving our hands, our hands width forward, tucking our back toes, lifting our knees, our hips up towards the sky, pushing those heels towards the mat. Adjusting this first downward facing dog, finding movement, pedaling out your legs. We're still warming up and feeling into the body, so please remember to just adjust where necessary. As I say, bend or pedal your legs out, maybe sway your hips from side to side. Shake out your head, yes and no, making sure there's no tension in your neck. Just a couple more breaths of movement here. And coming back to center and still in your downward facing dog, looking between your hands, bending your knees and slowly walking your hands back towards your feet. Keeping a generous bend in those knees, halfway lift, nice flat back and exhale, releasing forward fold. Your hands can either be palms face up on the ground, or you can take opposite hand to opposite elbow, letting yourself hang, maybe movement again, swaying from side to side, feeling how your neck, your back is stretching, lengthening towards the ground, just hanging nice and loose. Coming back to center, releasing your hands towards the ground. Inhaling, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold, maybe straightening those legs a little bit. Halfway lift, bending your knees and walking back to downward facing dog. Looking between our hands, bending our knees, stepping to the top of our mat. Halfway lift, nice flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we rise, reaching our arms all the way up. And exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Folding a little bit deeper. Halfway lift. Bending our knees, planting our hands, stepping back, high plank, holding this first high plank again, adjusting. Making sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders, you're pushing through the balls of your feet, you're pushing the ground away, but that slight rounding between your upper shoulder blades. Deep inhale here, and on your exhale, shifting slightly forward, lowering halfway all the way down, Chaturanga Nandasana, upward facing dog, and release downward facing dog. Looking between your hands, bending your knees, stepping to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we rise, reaching our arms all the way up. And fold. Halfway lift. Folding a little bit deeper on our exhale. Halfway lift. Bending knees, planting hands, stepping back, high plank again, holding this high plank just for this one last time. Inhaling, shifting slightly forward and exhaling, lower halfway all the way down, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Release, downward facing dog. Looking between your hands, bending your knees, step, jump or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, we rise, reaching our arms up. And fold, halfway lift, forward fold a little bit deeper, halfway lift, step up or float through your chaturanga, upward facing, release downward facing dog. Looking between our hands, bending our knees, step up or float to the top of our mat, halfway lift, Forward fold, inhale, rise, reaching arms all the way up, and fold, halfway lift, folding a little bit deeper, halfway lift, step jump or float through your chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog, two full breaths. Remember that as we move through our flow, these chaturangas and going through your flow are optional. You're welcome to meet in downward facing dog. The choice is yours.
right leg rises behind you as high as you can, bending that knee, dropping that foot, opening up that right hip to the right side. Your left heel is pushing down towards the ground, your shoulders squared to the front of the mat. Your gaze is either at your left toes or underneath your right arm. Squaring off your hips, straightening that leg, three-legged double inhale and exhale, bringing knee to nose, nose to knee, creating space, pushing the ground away. You will reach it back, three-legged dub. Again, knee to nose, or oh, you're reaching back. Knee to nose, the last time, reach it back. Knee to nose, creating that space, lifting, looking between our hands and planting that foot. Low lunge, dropping the back knee, untucking the back toes. Inhale, we're reaching arms up, sitting into that front hip, feeling a nice stretch on the left hip. Arms are reaching up. Pinky fingers turning slightly in. Last inhale. Exhale, release hands to the mat, bringing your foot, tucking those back toes, lifting that back knee, straightening your front leg, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Extend the pyramid. Coming back to your low lunge, planting your hands, sweeping that right leg through three-legged dog, your way to downward facing dog. Left leg rises behind you as high as you can, bending that knee, dropping that foot, opening up that left hip to the side. That right heel is pushing down towards the ground, shoulders squared to the front of the mat. Your gaze is at your right toes or underneath your left arm. Squaring off your hips, straightening that leg, three-legged dog, and exhale, knee to nose. Bringing that knee in, creating space, lifting, reach it back, inhale, and round. We reach and round. Last time, reach. Rounding, bringing knee to nose, creating space, looking between our hands and placing that foot down, low lunge, dropping the back knee, untucking the toes, sitting up into that crescent moon. Last inhale. Release hands, framing your foot, tucking those back toes, lifting that knee, straightening your front leg, squaring off halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, extended pyramid. Coming back to your low lunge, planting your hands, sweeping that leg back, three-legged dog, either straight to downward facing or through a vinyasa. Looking between our hands, bending our knees, step jump or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we rise, reaching arms all the way up and fold. Halfway lift, step jump or float through your chaturanga. Upward facing, release, downward facing dog. Right leg rises behind you as high as you can, bending that knee, dropping that foot, opening up that hip to the right side again. Seeing maybe this time you can drop your foot a little bit lower, open your hip a little bit wider. Three-legged dog, inhale and exhale, tapping right knee to right elbow as high up in that arm as you can. Reach it back, three-legged dog. Again, tapping knee to elbow. We reach it back. Knee to elbow, last time, reaching back, knee to nose, rounding, creating space, looking between your hands and placing that foot down, low lunge, dropping that back knee, untucking the toes, inhale, reaching the arms up, sitting into that hip, deep inhale here, and on your next exhale, taking a twist, left arm forward, right arm back, gaze to that right thumb, inhale, reaching up, Twist the other way, left arm back, right arm forward. 
Inhale, we reach. Releasing hands to the mat, tucking those back toes, lifting left back knee, straightening front leg, halfway lift, forward fold, extended pyramid. Coming back to your low lunge, making sure you're steady in your base and inhale, rise, reaching arms up, crescent lunge. Inhale, reaching arms and torso forward and exhale, sweeping the arms back, drawing shoulder blades towards one another. Inhale, we rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, airplane. Last time, inhale, rise. And exhale, opening warrior two. Checking your alignment, that back foot to spin back, spun barrel up parallel to the back of the mat. Front toes are pointing forward, the foot bisecting the middle of the back foot. Your arms are out nice and strong, your shoulders dropping away from your ears, and you're sitting into that front knee. Gaze across your front middle finger. One more breath. Flipping that front palm, reversing our warrior. One minute our hands to the mat. Your way to downward facing dog. I'm going to swap sides. I'm going to have my back to you for oh, one more breath. Left leg rises behind you as high as you can, bringing left knee to tap left elbow. Reach it back, three legged dog. Again, knee to elbow. Reach it back. Last time, knee to elbow. Big inhale, three legged dog. Knee to nose, rounding, creating space, looking between our hands and placing that foot down, low lunge. Dropping the back knee, untucking the toes. Inhale, reach. On your next exhale, take that twist to the left first. Left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, reaching up, twist the other way, coming back to center, releasing hands to the mat, tucking back toes, lifting your back knee, straightening front leg, halfway lift, forward fold. Coming back to your low lunge, making sure you're steady, inhale, we rise, crescent lunge. Hinging forward with arms and torso, inhale, and on your exhale, sweep the arms back, drawing shoulder blades towards one another. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, airplane lunge. We rise, crescent. Exhale, airplane. And last time, rise, crescent. Exhale, opening warrior two. Again, checking the alignment, spinning that back foot to be 45. Oh, sorry, to be parallel to the back of that, not 45 degrees. Front foot pointing forward, so bisecting the back of the middle foot. Arms out nice and strong, sitting into that front knee. One more breath. Flipping your front palm, reversing your warrior. One willing your hands to the mat. Your way to downward facing dog. One more breath. Looking between your hands, bending your knees, step jump or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reaching arms all the way up. And fold. Halfway lift, step jump or float through your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Release, downward facing dog. Your right leg rises behind you as high as you can. Coming across for that twist, so bringing your right knee to tap your left elbow, tapping as high as you can, reach it back, three-legged dog. Again, coming across for the twist, tapping left elbow with right knee, reach it back. One more time, twist, reach it back, three-legged dog. 
knee to nose, rounding, creating space, looking between your hands and planting that foot down. This time we rise immediately, inhale, crescent lunge. On our next exhale, we're taking that twist in crescent lunge. So inhale deeply and exhale left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale back to center, twist the other way. Coming back to center, inhale. Exhale, opening warrior two, I did it wrong. Doesn't matter. Flipping that front palm, reversing our warrior. You're coming at your side angle, elbow to knee or to the inside of your foot. The left arm reaches up and over. You're rolling open that left shoulder. Gaze underneath your left arm. Last breath. Inhale, warrior two, spinning back to crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale here. Reaching forward, airplane lunge, exhale, pull the arms back. Inhale, rise, crescent. And airplane lunge. Inhale, crescent. Airplane lunge. Inhale, crescent. This time, full airplane. So stepping up, sweeping those arms back, squaring off your hips, your left foot square to the floor. One more breath. Deep inhale and exhale, landing back in your aeroplane lunge. We rise, present, releasing hands to the mat, your way to down your facing dog. One more breath while I just turn around. Left leg rises behind you as high as you can, coming for that twist, but your left elbow, left knee to right elbow, sorry. Reach it back, three-legged dog. Again, twist, reach it back. Last time, twist, reaching back. Knee to nose, creating space, looking between your hands, planting that hand, back that foot. This time we rise immediately, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, taking that twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, back to center, twist the other way. We reach it back to center, opening warrior two. One more breath. Flipping our front palm, reversing our warrior, side angle, elbow to knee or to the inside of that foot. Right arm reaching up and over. Again, rolling open that right lung, right shoulder. Last breath. Inhaling, warrior two, coming back to your crescent lunge. Inhale. Reaching forward, torso reaches. Exhale, reach arm back. Rise, crescent. Aeroplane lunge, rising, inhale, crescent. Exhale, aeroplane lunge, rising, crescent. This time, full aeroplane, reaching arms back. Whoops, coming onto that left leg. Last inhale. Exhale, landing, aeroplane lunge, rise, crescent. Release hands to the mat, your way to downward facing dog. You can drop down into a child's pose. Just reconnect to your breath, to your intention. Maybe have a sip of water, wipe the sweat. It's very warm in here, but besides which, I do have quite a fast metabolism. <laughs> As I said, this is very new to me and it feels very strange knowing that an audience might be watching. So please, any comments, suggestions for classes, anything welcome. 
One more breath in your child's pose and we'll meet back in a downward facing dog. Making our way back to downward facing dog. Right leg rises behind you as high as you can. Exhale, bring your knee to nose, nose to knee. Round, reach it back, three-legged dog. Tapping right knee to right elbow as high up on that arm as you can. Reach it back, three-legged dog. Across your body for that twist, holding it there for a second and then continuing through forward triangle, placing that right foot down, spinning left foot, drawing hips up, reaching left arm up and over. Last breath. Gaze to the mat, left hand down, sweeping right leg through, three-legged dog. Knee to nose and stepping through to between your hands, low lunge. Inhale, we rise, crescent lunge. Taking that twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Reaching back through center. Twist the other way. Reaching up through center and opening warrior two. One more breath. Flipping that front palm, reversing our warrior. Coming into side angle, elbow to knee or to the inside of that foot. The left arm reaching up and over. One more breath. Inhale, coming back up, warrior two, straighten that front leg, reaching your arms forward, keeping your hips back, inhale and exhale, triangle. Gaze either up to your foot or up to your left hand. Last breath. Coming back up, warrior two. Spinning through to our crescent lunge. Inhale here and exhale, aeroplane. Slowly in mind, please see if you can bring that left leg through. Standing stark, either knee to hip height with foot flex or kick that foot out. Inhale here, exhale to aeroplane. Slowly coming through, standing staff. Inhale, exhale, aeroplane. One more time, slowly coming through. Standing staff, inhale, exhale, aeroplane. Inhale here, exhale, release, aeroplane lunge. Rising crescent, hands to the mat. Stepping back, high plank. Holding high plank. We're taking side plank on the right and then bringing that knee down to the mat. Spinning onto the outer blade or right foot. Left foot stacks on top. Reaching that left arm up. Pulling your hips up towards the sky. Gaze either at your mat or up to your left thumb. Last full breath. Releasing through centre, high plank, straight to downward facing dog or through a flow. One more breath before we hit the left side, I'm just changing directions. Left leg rises behind you as high as you can, exhale knee to nose, round, reach it back, three legged dog. Tapping left knee to left elbow, reach it back and across your body for that twist, holding it there and then placing that left foot through, spinning right foot forward and triangle. One more breath. Looking to the mat, bringing that hand up, sweeping left leg through, three-legged dog and stepping through, low lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent. On your next exhale, taking that twist to the left, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale back to center, twist the other way, reaching up through center, opening warrior two. One more breath. 
flipping that front palm reverse side angle elbow to knee onto the inside of that foot right arm reaching up and over one full breath inhaling warrior straightening that front leg kicking your hips towards the back of the room reaching forward inhale and triangle last breath inhaling coming back up warrior two spinning around low crescent lunge inhale here and exhale airplane slowly and mindfully bring that right leg through standing star with the knee bent for kicking that foot out inhale and on your exhale release airplane slowly coming through standing star inhale here and airplane coming through standing star whoops inhale last time exhale airplane inhale here exhale releasing crescent airplane lunge rise crescent releasing hands to the mat stepping back high plank holding high plank we're coming into side plank on the left either knee down or spinning to that outer blade of left foot stacking right on top reaching your arm up your hips lifting to the sky last breath releasing hand through center high plank your way to downward facing dog to our yogi squat so you can look between your hands bend your knees and simply jump your feet to the outside you can take a few bunny hops if you like just coming up and on the last one landing with your feet outside your mat sitting your hips down towards the ground your hands at your heart center your elbows pushing your knees open sitting up as tall as possible feeling that breath here in your squat or you can come into crow if you do play around with crow or crane if you do invert please do so mindfully and carefully so wherever you're coming into remembering your variations come into it slowly whichever variation be there for about four or five breaths My last breath. Slowly coming back down, back to my yogi squat. Releasing my hands to the floor, keeping my knees glued to my elbows, lift my hips up. Slowly heel turn my feet to behind my hands, if with distance apart, taking a bend in my knees. Grabbing hold of my big toes with my peace fingers, her big thumb, oh, big thumb, your thumb on top of your big toe. Halfway lift as much as possible and exhale forward, fold, drawing elbows out, straightening your legs, letting your head hang. Bending your knees, slowly release, keeping a bend in your legs, taking those hands and sliding them a whole hand underneath the sole of your foot. Bringing those toes to your wrist creases again, halfway lift as far as possible, nice flat back. Drawing your elbows out, straightening your legs, letting your head hang towards the ground. Your weight shifting forward slightly into your balls of your feet. You should feel like you're going to tip, but you won't. You can massage out your wrist creases with your toes.
Releasing, bending your knees, sliding your hands out from underneath your feet, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. And then we rise, reaching our arms all the way up. And hands to heart center. You can heel toe your feet to touch, maybe taking a step to the top of your mat if you aren't already there. Bring your arms alongside your body into the asana, nice and strong. And inhale, we're reaching arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Step jump or float through your chaturanga. And upward facing dog. Release downward facing dog. We're coming through to a seat and so looking between our hands, bending our knees, step jump or float. However, you would like to get to a seat or whatever you're busy practicing. Taking our feet out long in front of us. Legs are either together or they can be a slight gap. Sitting up nice and tall, your toes are active, pulling back towards you, moving the flesh from your sitting bones. Inhale, reaching our arms up and hinging forward, coming out of your hips and reaching, reaching your chest forward, arms forward. Letting your hands fall to wherever they get to and then releasing your head towards your forehead. Your head towards your forehead. Your head towards your shin or your knees. Maybe coming out slightly, inhale, lengthen and exhale, see if you can find a little bit more. Last break. Releasing if you have your hand held together, coming back up. We're coming into both poses, so simply bringing our knees up, arms alongside or holding behind. Feet are flexed, feet, ankles, shins, knees, side by side. Don't forget to breathe. We'll hold the chair for the count of ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Two, one, gently releasing feet down, hugging your knees, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to be coming to boat again and do 10 low boats, high boat. On the last one, low boat, we're going to hold to the count of 10. So coming back into your boat variation that's comfortable for you. Deep inhale here, exhale, hover, low boat, inhale. Low boat. That's three, four, five. Remember that you do what you can. Six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful job. And the last one and hold in your low boat for ten. Nine. Eight, seven, keep that core active. Five, four, three, two, one, and gently release all the way down. Bring your feet flat to the mat, hips with distance apart. You might need to scooch down on your mat a little bit. We're coming into bridge pose, so bringing your heels as close to your bum as possible. Your feet are slightly pigeon toes, so your sides of your feet are parallel to the mat. And you should be able to tickle your heels with your fingers, keeping your palms flat on the mat and inhale, rolling all the way from your tailbone, tucking it in up onto your shoulders. Either staying here, or if you do interlace your hands, bring your hands underneath your back, rolling onto the outer edges of your shoulders, lifting your hips up towards the sky, pushing into your feet. Your knees are squeezing together, your gaze straight above. You have your hands interlaced and align your shoulders, untuck them, release your hands and slowly roll all the way down one vote at a time till your lower back touches the mat. And then take a happy baby. 
dragging the outside of your feet, arms to the inside of your knees, drawing those knees parallel to the ground, pushing your tailbone into the ground. We will be doing this again with some movement, so feel free just to take a normal static happy baby. Releasing, setting up for another round of bridge, or if wheel forms part of your practice, you may go there, you are definitely warm enough. Please be mindful and careful on whatever variation you take. For those of you going into wheel, remember when you come out to tuck your chin, chin, your chin to your chest first, and then roll all the way from the base of, the base of your neck all the way down your spine. Let your lower back touch the mat, and then take a happy baby. Whichever variation you are taking, try and be there for at least five breaths on your own breath. So we're getting ready to set up. When you're ready, you can inhale, coming into whichever variation you are doing. Those of you in wheel, you can slowly start coming out. Remember, tucking chin, chin to chest. Those of you in bridge, last inhale. See if you can lift your hips a little bit higher. Unless your hands roll out your shoulders. And exhale, roll all the way down. Letting our lower back settle. And then coming into a happy baby, grabbing hold of those feet. Elbows to the inside, drawing our thighs our our as parallel to the floor as possible. You can rock from side to side if that feels good. Just taking some movement, maybe kicking left, right foot into the right hand, left foot into left hand, maybe both feet together. Just a couple more breaths here and you're happy baby with movement. Slowly coming back to center and still releasing your knees towards your chest. This time giving yourself a tight squeeze, wrapping your arms across your legs, taking hold of opposite elbows, drawing that tailbone into the ground, where you're falling towards your knees, really squeezing into a tight ball. Release, taking three or four spinal rocks, just rolling up, massaging out the length of your spine slowly and carefully. And on the last one, you can simply come to a seated position, cross legged on your mat, either taking hold of your right wrist with your left hand, your index, middle, and thumbs to see if they can touch behind your back, or opposite hand to opposite elbow. Inhaling to lengthen and exhale, folding forward, yoga mudrasana. Just sealing in our practice the goodness of it, all the energy and love. Normally coming back up and finding shavasana. Your final resting pose on your mat, flat on your back. Feet as wide as your mat, flopping out, hands alongside your body, palms face up, taking any final movements and then coming to complete stillness. You'll be here for about two to three minutes. I know it is silent without music, but just enjoy the final pose, your resting pose. Please stay in your shavasana for as long as you need to. I can hear a dreadful noise 
our time of the God in service. For when you're ready and when you're finishing your Savasana for about three or four minutes, you can come up to a seated position, bow your head, and gently thank yourself for taking the time to be on your mat, for sharing this time and space with each other and with me, and allowing me to guide you on this journey. I wish you all a great evening further. Namaste.